Hey everybody, it's Robin. I have a video for you today of a layout I made for a neighbor girl that's having her baby. Her birth, her bridal shower is tomorrow. And I made her this layout and it's in a 12 by 12 shadow box frame so it's got a lot of dimension. I wanted to show it to you in the frame and I'm going to take it out so I can show you a little bit more detail. And she's having a girl and I'm not quite sure. I probably should have called them and asked them their, you know, themes or whatever, but I just wanted to make something cute for her to hang on the wall with a 5 by 7 picture of the baby in it. So I'm going to take it out of the box. Hey everybody. Okay. Now we're back. I took it out of the frame so y'all can see it. And when I got home with the paper, I was not sure what I was, what else I was going to use. I bought two pink pieces, and I actually wanted to do just different shades of pink. And I, I just didn't like how it was turning out. So I started digging through my stash. And I grabbed the Sweets die cut with a view stack. And this page was absolutely perfect for the to go with the pink. So then I'm like, uh, what else am I gonna use? I knew I wanted to use the lace, so that's where I went to. And I'm gonna try to zoom in on that a little bit. My camera is not I can't get it to stay down. And if I move it, I can't get it in the right spot. So, but the lace is on the rolls from Hobby Lobby. Get it on sale for like $2. And what I did was I laid out the white, and the white was just too overpowering, and the pink wasn't the right color. And I just didn't like the brown with the pink, which I normally do. Uh, so I thought, I'll try the black. And I think the black just really grounds it. So that is what determined my other colors to go with the butterfly body and then the background of the uh, photo mat and then the background of her name. So then I decided I had to make a big daisy and I think I'm gonna make her a hairband of that too. I'll zoom in on that a little more. And then I'm gonna stop saying and then so this daisy I also spray with pearl glimmer mist so it's sparkly and it you can't really see it here in the picture. And then the centerpiece I get from an Etsy gal on Let's see, I'll see if she still has some and I'll put her name down below. And then, I'm sorry about the camera. It just does not want to cooperate today. I'll just slightly move it over. And then, the, I'm going to pick it up. The rolled flowers there. Don't fall. Are from... The Dynamics collection from My Favorite Things. And here's the die. And then the cameo there, I got off of eBay. And I don't know if I can find that seller or not. And I thought, what the heck. They weren't very much. They were just a couple bucks. And the yellow came with blue and then a uh, mauve color. And I wasn't quite sure if I was even going to use any of the yellow because I didn't know. It just kind of looks ugly at first, to tell you the truth. But then since I used the yellow, I pulled it out and perfect, perfect for my layout. So I was really excited about that. And then there's 20 of these black ones that I got too. I don't know what to do about my lighting. You guys are probably doing fine seeing stuff, but I feel like I'm 
but they weren't hardly anything at all. If I can find the seller's name, I'll put it down below. So then the little dresses over here are a Sizzix die from, I think they're people collection. I don't have any of them. So I used the sweets cartridge, no, not the cartridge, paper for the dress on the right. And then the other dress I used the blossoms and butterflies stack. And then I cut a second one in the solid paper and the green to put on the top so it was just kind of finished it off. I thought it turned out really cute. So then, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, my camera is just driving me nuts today. So up here in the corner, the big butterfly is from a butterfly album. You get the big butterfly and then that size and a flourish and something else. So, and then I used the black for the body in that and it just kind of balanced everything out. Okay, on the chipboard, sorry about that. I had to get my camera adjusted right. It was driving me nuts. On the side of the chipboard, of course none of us like to look at the edges of just chipboard. And if I, back in December, I had a haul that had all these markers that I got, Tombow ones. I bought them at Dick Blick's. And they're not that great with coloring things in. They're just not a smooth. But I bought them because I knew if they didn't work for the stamping, they'd be work for like coloring the edges of the chipboard. So I use all these markers to color the edges of things so they everything blends in and I I love them for that and they're two dollars a piece they're expensive for that but if you want a nice coverage on the sides of your chipboard that's the way to go so I bought mine at Dick Blick's and the branches here in uh, the corner were cut out with storybook from the Cricut collection and of course the two butterflies are from Martha Stewart punch and I always do two on that and I'm sure I'm gonna get a shadow and you're not gonna be able to see the two yeah shadow I, I just can't find any good lighting today on that so but I like to do it that way and sometimes I stick both of them together what I should say sometimes I I'll do two for this butterfly so it's really dimensional and then one laying down flat and and that really makes them but this time I, I didn't do that and then the Abigail is cut out of Ashlyn's alphabet from the Cricut collection I think it's super cute because it's not really fancy and it's not plain so and then I just added a couple of the branches back there in the corner so, I think it's cute, and I know Jessica will love it. So, for not knowing what they're using in their rooms and all that, I, I think it'll be a perfect little girl. So, if you guys have any questions, give me a holler, and have a super great day.